An underground structure discovered near the Great Pyramid of Giza. Near the Pyramid of Cheops in Giza, archaeologists came across a strange, L-shaped structure hidden under the sands. Researchers believe that it may be an entrance to deeper objects, perhaps to a previously unknown tomb. A mysterious structure under the sands near the Great Pyramid of Giza was found by archaeologists from Egypt and Japan. They discovered it in the area of the Western Cemetery during research using ground-penetrating radar, GPR, and electrical resistivity tomography, ERT. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Archaeological Prospection. Research on the cemetery focused mainly on mastabas. Truncated pyramid-shaped tombs usually built of limestone or mud bricks. Scientists focused on a previously unexplored part of the Western Cemetery which appeared to be an empty area without any buildings. Scientists checked whether there might be something underground and hit the jackpot. Data from GPR and ERT showed that there was actually something hidden under the surface. The devices showed the existence of two underground structures, one shallow and the other deeper. The shallow structure is L-shaped and sits about 2 meters below the sands. It is about 10 meters wide and 15 meters long. Researchers suspect its purpose was to support the construction of a larger, deeper structure, and it appears it was deliberately filled with sand, perhaps to conceal the entrance. The deeper structure is about 5 meters underground, but reaches up to 10 meters at its deepest point. Its area is approximately 10 square meters. Scientists describe the structures as anomalies because their density differs from the surrounding ground. They believe that due to the L shape, the structures were not created naturally and are probably the work of human hands. Motoyuki Sato of Tohoku University in Japan admitted that he and his team are confident that these structures are not a natural phenomenon because their shape is too sharp. Scientists speculate that it may be a buried mastaba. The structure causing the anomalies may be the vertical limestone walls or shafts leading to the tomb structure, the researchers said in the publication. Members of the royal family and high-ranking officials are buried in the Western Cemetery. Researchers suggest that if the anomaly is a previously unknown tomb, then a high-ranking person will certainly be buried there. However, the only way to find out what exactly the underground anomaly hides is to conduct further research. The oldest human viruses discovered in the remains of Neanderthals from 50,000 years ago years. Genetic analysis of the skeletons of Neanderthals who lived in the Altai Mountains in present-day Russia has identified the remains of three viruses associated with modern human pathogens. The analyzed remains of our relatives are approximately 50,000 years old. Years, which makes these viruses the oldest human viruses ever discovered. In the bones of two Neanderthals from 50,000 years ago years discovered in the Chagyarskaya cave in Russia, scientists found genetic traces of three viruses common today. 
The discoveries were made during research to determine whether ancient viruses played a role in the extinction of our relatives. The description and results of the research by scientists from the Federal University of Sao Paulo have not yet been peer-reviewed and are currently available on the BioRxiv preprint server. Scientists looked for remnants of the genomes of adenoviruses, herpes viruses and human papillomaviruses, HPV, in Neanderthal remains. They found remains of all three groups. This makes these viruses the oldest human viruses ever discovered. Brazilian scientists undertook research to confirm or deny the concept that DNA viruses causing persistent infections are a possible cause of the extinction of Neanderthals. The identification of fragments of viral genomes in Neanderthal bone sequencing reads suggests that our relatives may have been plagued by the same viruses that attack us today. For example, adenoviruses can cause a wide range of diseases, from intestinal diseases to respiratory infections and even meningitis. Human papillomaviruses are probably best known for their association with cervical cancer, although some of them cause benign skin warts. In turn, herpes viruses, or herpes viruses, are a large group of viruses that can cause oral or genital herpes. But this group also includes the varicella zoster virus and the Epstein-Barr virus, which can cause mononucleosis and multiple sclerosis. It is possible that Neanderthals were more susceptible to these three viruses. Scientists compared the sequences of ancient viruses with those of modern versions to check for similarities and differences. Taken together, our data indicate that these viruses could indeed have infected Neanderthals, said study lead author Marcelo Briones. However, he adds, such results were to be expected. Considering that the average person in today's world suffers from virus-related diseases many times during his life, this does not mean that viruses alone could have caused the extinction of Neanderthals, as the authors explain in the article, but they could have played some role in the process.